That was, of course, Marcus Stuckey when we need hope. And that's the beauty of prayer. It, of course, enables us and equips us with the hope. Remember what Paul said in 1 Corinthians 13, 13. He says, these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. So, Father, today we thank you for your wonderful love. We thank you that love is the basis of all that we do and all that we receive right now. Lord, it gives us, of course, faith to believe and to trust in all the benefits and promises, the blessings and results that only you can bring. And we thank you that, Lord, we have a hope, that wonderful hope that you are coming back right as soon as possible. Thank you for that today. And thank you today that you are Jehovah Jireh, a provider. That means that, Lord, you are going to supply every need that we have today. And the beautiful thing, Lord, is that no matter where we find ourselves today, no matter what situation we find ourselves in or circumstances, you have already been there before, arranging everything. So thank you today for your provision. Thank you as well for your healing touch. For Peter 2.24 is the scripture that we stand upon today, that Lord, you are going to be our physician. You're going to be our healer right now. Now, whether it's instantaneous, whether it is progressive or done through the medical community, we want to thank you today for your wonderful healing touch. And not just for ourselves, but for our family and friends. And thank you for the opportunities, Lord, that may come across our path today, that we may be able to pray for someone as well. We want to give you all the praise and glory for that. We also want to thank you, Lord, today for the wonderful promise of Acts 16.31 that says not only are we going to be saved, but our household as well. Again, we pray for divine intervention in the lives of our family and friends today. And Lord, we want to pray for our young people today. We know that, Lord, there is a lot of pressure on them. And they need, of course, the strength, the wisdom, and the ability to be able to navigate, especially the propaganda that is being presented today. Father, help them to discern truth. And help us, Lord, as parents and grandparents, to help them as well. To be role models and mentors and equippers and guides and directors, Lord, for them today. And we want to thank you, Lord, for that one final thing, Lord. Would you order our steps today, moment by moment, hour by hour this day? We invite you, Lord, to lead us, because the Bible says the steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord. So we thank you, Lord, for all of these things. In Jesus' name we pray. 